today we'd like to talk to you about durometer and is it the correct test to measure a part's performance. The most widely recognized test for measuring hardness is the durometer and it's done by using a gauge that uses the Shore A scale. The gauge is similar to one of these and it has an indenter that presses into the rubber section and it measures the hardness of the rubber in question. Is the durometer test the right test? The Lord engineers think this is a mistake and there are better ways to predict how a mount is going to perform in a given application. Small deformations rarely relate to the ability of an engineered product to function in its intended application. A more accurate assessment would be a spring rate test where you're loading the part in compression or in shear and determining the spring rate in pounds per inch. Both tests are indicators of stress strain relationships as the indenter puts a small stress and strain in to determine the hardness and then the load deflection test also has a stress strain relationship in shear and in compression. The load deflection test is inherently more representative of the elastomeric product's mount performance and will be an indicator of how the mount will perform in your application. ASTM D2240 specifies that durometer readings must be made on a flat parallel surface at least 12 millimeters thick and at least 12 millimeters from any edge. It goes on to state suitable hardness determination cannot be made on rounded, uneven, or rough surfaces. Let me give you some examples of what they're talking about. This part is a CB2205. It has a large enough section where your gauge can measure the, stiff, the hardness of the rubber on the surface. Smaller parts that don't have that requirement have an issue with the metal sleeve that the rubber is bonded to interfering with the indenter and you don't get a proper reading. If you try to take the reading on a circular area, you get different readings as it's hard to exactly get the indenter perpendicular to the surface. Similar to a sandwich mount, it's got the same issue with finding the perpendicular point where you could see the durometer changes if I'm not exactly perpendicular and square to the surface. And the top you can't really get in and measure. Okay. So here at Lord Corporation, we would prefer if you'd contact the engineers here at Lord Corporation where we can help you determine the right part to support the given load in your application and find the correct spring rate to give you the natural frequency you're looking for to isolate the disturbing frequency and give good performance. The other issue is if a customer calls in and say I want a 50 durometer part. These two parts are 50 durometer elastomer. Uh, as you can see they're varied in size. This mount is going to perform differently than this one. This one carries more load, different spring rate because it's a larger rubber section. This one has a lighter load and a smaller spring rate. It's going to perform differently. They're not really interchangeable, although they are 50 durometer parts. So that's the other reason you really need to call and contact the engineers at Lord Corporation to get the information in to them and understand the application so that we pick the correct isolator. 